How you doing guys and welcome to the video. On this video, I'm doing a comparison video on Father of the Bride, the newest Father of the Bride just released exclusively on HBO Max starting Andy Garcia. And this is the third remake of the original predecessor Father of the Bride, which was released in 1950. And the second remake was made in 1991 starting Steve Martin and Diane Keaton. I'm doing the comparison video on the two films the two remakes because unfortunately i didn't get to see the original 1950 father of the bride so i'm only doing the comparison between the newest father of the bride and the second remake 1991 and similarities are less i see more difference between the two like the similarity is basic summary of the story daughter come back home announce her engagement her father parent, family it's like her upside down they have to prepare for the wedding all the things happen in the process or the wedding on and on and on and the conclusion even how the endings were different but the bride in each respective films got married so those are the basic similarity parts but i see more discrepancies between the two over the similarities like amount of characters 1991 version, it's parents, Steve Martin, Diane Keaton, her daughter comes a bride, Annie Banks, her brother, of course, the fiance, Brian McKenzie, and Brian McKenzie's parents, and wedding planner, head of guy, played by Martin Short, his assistant, be played by BD Wong. So characterized, not much character to follow, so it's like Oh, this guy's doing that, this guy's doing that. It's a lot easy to consume what the characters' roles are. But comparison to the newest version, Andy Garcia plays the father, of course, his wife, of course, her daughter comes as a bride, of course, she has a sister, and of course, her fiance, her parents. And then there's not a lot of things like her cousins, like, you know, other family members, like, you know, work friends, on and on and on, and of course the wedding player and the assistant. I mean, I feel the characters in the newest version, it, it was too many to follow. And it's like, very, very like disorganized. And I didn't like the fact that the roles in the newest version, like it's too hard to follow. Even in the newest version, I like the sister's role. role. Like she's handling the key role of designing Sophia she's the bride in the newest version like designing the, the dress for the wedding I actually like that part she's given a big role handling the design of her dress and the setting scale in this movie are completely different 1990 version is set in LA and it happened in around a neighborhood like a nice neighborhood it's not like luxurious like Beverly Hills or anything on the newest version, it sets in Miami, which you get to see all the like, you know, luxurious, and, and this beautiful skyline. Very majestic set of Miami area, which were nice to see. Although I wasn't mine in terms of like setting a 1991 version. And the plot action between the two films, I feel that the 1991 version is more like solid, compact. It's not long, it's very, very good duration. And it's a lot more enjoyable to watch. It's not long, or you don't have to like you know spend a whole lot of time following the story, or like you know don't have any stall or anything. I but in the newest version, it's nearly two hours. It feel have more downtime and feel like a little bit of dual, kind of a little bored as well. So in terms of like the plot action and how the flow the story. 1991 board is more summarized, compact, organized compared to the newest version. It felt long. It was too many things that ha should be happening but not happening. That sort of stuff. And the wedding timeline in this movie were also different. Like 1991 version, it took a lot of time. Like it sort of happened like six to seven months or so. 2022 version the newish version was like it's very rushed it's like happening like a month or two it's very very rushed up they make it faster in a hurry so 
Those are another difference. And the another difference is that the father in this movie, George Banks, played by Steve Martin, I like his character. I thought he's more funny. He's overprotective, befuddled with his daughter. Like, why is she getting married? She should be like starting his career over getting married at first. So I like his character more. She show more intrigue in trend compared to Billy, played by Andy Garcia. That was more oversensitive, somewhat of a denial, more business, stylish father guy. I was not like appealed by his like you know humorous. Other than he's only good at his like you know as an architect, his job. I mean that's about it. In terms of going to the mother, like Nina Banks, played by Diane Keaton, she's level-headed, patient, and she's her character is more appealing. I thought she's more like charming, and she's very nice compared to the newest version. Ingrid is kind of similar to Nina, but she's more overdramatic in a sense. Then see her as a favorable character. I thought was she's more kind of a little bit of drama queen ish to it, even. I wasn't. I was okay with her, but just not quite get her as like favorable character. And the another difference is that in terms of like cultural differences between the two, the 1991 version is, was all around true American family. To the newest version, it's more like like phenomenal. Like the family is Cuban American, so there's a lot more Latino Latina people involved. And it sets well for sets in my I'm mean, like settings in Miami, which were like that kind of like matches well with the setting and with the cultural, you know, ethical like group that they're representing. I thought fit well for, with the setting. That's good. And another difference is that both movies, the wedding was in jeopardy. Jeopardy, like 1991 version, is more surprising that happen how it happens. Like oh, what? It, it like it's like why the wedding is in jeopardy just over a stupid blender, and it's like oh my goodness! I thought how it happened is surprise, but the newest version I thought is more more predictable. Like it's the the first one is the feud between Billy and Ingrid. She it like I thought it was like oh this is gonna how it stall and tr like you know kind of. Like caused the wedding to be dragged and possibly get canceled. And another thing is like it was mentioned in the course of the movie is like, oh, this is the reason why it's gonna like stall the and drag and possibly cancel the wedding. So, but in retrospect, which one is better? I will say 1991 version is better because it's more hilarious, more funny. I thought Steve Martin's like character is more appealing and such a. Sensational performance and a lot more like humorous comedy action involved in the Father of the Bride, the 1991 version, and it's more like you know simple, you know consumable premise that I really enjoy. And the 1991 version, I gave a three and a half star in this one. And compared to the newest version, there are things that I like that is more. You know, glamorous, like fashionable, like it's more like modern base type of Father of the Bride movie, but it's felt long. There's too many characters, and a lot of like action sh in terms of plot should be happening, but not that happening. The comedy level is way lesser compared to the 1991 version. I thought. The few between like things that happen in this course of the movie, or like the the wedding jeopardy, like something like that, he just didn't quite like not favorable. Well, it was pretty solid. It's very acceptable, but I give a two and a half star on the newest version. So that's my comparison video between Father of the Bride 1991 version against 2022 version. What do you think about it? Leave your thoughts. Please stay tuned for the next video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.